Hey guys, so today I'm going to be covering uh, tips and tricks to help you ace your biology classes. And this is more or less the techniques that I used for intro bio. And I have kind of tweaked them and perfected them for my neuroscience class this semester. And it's it has worked really great for me in the past and I hope it'll help you all too. So first things first, the most important thing you can do, not only for biology classes, but really any class, is make sure you show up. Uh, make sure you're at every single class, and more than just showing up, you need to pay attention. You need to be actively learning. That is the most important thing. Anyone can go to class and sit in the back row, and actually, you can be paying attention, and it can still be considered passive learning. So if you're just listening and copying down, but not actually uh, trying to work through the information in your head, that's just passively learning. You're just copying words down. You're not actually searching for the meaning in them and trying to understand them. Uh, you know, a sign that you're really paying attention and that you're really trying to understand and comprehend that information is you'll have a lot of questions. If you don't have questions, most likely you're just looking at information but not absorbing it. So that's really important to take with you to lecture and also to take with you into your work outside of lecture. So first and foremost, definitely show up to class and actively learn while you're there. Uh, one of my all-time favorite tips, and I actually got this one from Deanna, is to record your lecture. And something else that a lot of people overlook is that you actually have a voice memo function on your phone. Guys, this is the number one tip I can give you. I'm pretty sure I said that about the other one. They're all important. I think that they're all really great tips. Um, but if you record the lecture, what you can do, and I'm pretty sure Deanna mentioned this in her video about anatomy and physiology uh, study tips, which definitely check that out. That's the previous video. Basically, you record the lecture, and then after class, or as soon after class as you can, because I know some of us have back-to-back -back classes. I do, so I can't do it directly after class, but hopefully that same day, what you do is you open up your notes and you pull up your recording and you start playing it. And as you're listening, I would say nine times out of 10, you miss something, you know? Um, there's a very good chance you didn't write down every single word that the professor said, because you know, you're worrying about copying notes on the slides, and sometimes they talk so fast. So this gives you an opportunity to get every single piece of information. And in a lot of biology classes, uh, they leave things out of the lecture because there's just so much to cover. In my neuroscience class right now, uh, he doesn't teach from the textbook, so the textbook really isn't of any use in it. Um, everything comes from lecture, and he has what's called skeleton notes, so not everything is provided to you. You're expected to kind of fill in the blanks there. So, and you'll be tested on, ev like, anything that he says in lecture is fair game. A lot of bio classes are taught this way. So, this is a great way to get everything down. So, you just go back through your notes and you fill in anything that you missed. And this is also really good because back to that active learning thing, um, this is a way for you to be taught the material twice. So, you were introduced to it the first time in lecture, but now you're going through, you've already kind of been primed and now this is your time to really in your brain work through everything this is where maybe you can answer some of those questions you had in lecture or maybe this is going to bring on even more questions it probably will bring on more questions which is great uh because it means that you're really understanding things and you're thinking and you're uh, comprehending and what i like to do is i take those questions i write them down as i go on a separate piece of paper and i take that paper with me to office hours and that leads me to my third uh, tip is to go to office hours, really utilize your professor. Um, if they offer free tutoring services through university, go to them. It'll really help you bring those questions with you. Just write down all the answers and that can really help you. And then later on, go back into your notes and maybe add them back in so that all of your information that you need to study when it comes time for the test is right there all in one place you don't have to go scatter it you know it's not scattered you don't have to be frantic about trying to find every little bit of information that you have that's all over the place 
So my fourth tip is making flashcards, but I do them a little bit differently. I make them as I go along and something that I have done a little bit differently this semester is when to consolidate these steps so I'm not making things harder for myself and something that I hear all the time in EMS because you guys know I'm an EMT is work smarter not harder. Be efficient with your time. Be smart with your time. So I used to do all these different things in different steps and yeah it was great I was getting more exposure to the material but I would be doing all these steps and before I knew it I only had a day to actually study things. I only had a day to memorize things and it just wasn't enough time. I was preparing to study too long and not actually studying long enough before the test. So to avoid that you want to consolidate as many steps together as possible while still getting the most out of your studying and again that's efficiency. So during the time that I'll be uh, you know, listening to my lectures again and filling in my notes, I might pause for a second and once I have, you know, one section or one topic completed, I'll really, I'll have um, on the opposite side of my screen, I'll have my Quizlet open and I'll make sure that I'm, you know, making flashcards as I go along so before I know it, I have all of my notes done, everything in one place, and I already have all of my flashcards done. And that is such a great feeling. <laughs> so that's all what I like to call kind of preparation studying. So now we'll say it's a week out from your test and it's time to really solidify those concepts that you've been keeping up with all along. So something that works really well with biology classes is getting a whiteboard, put a topic at the top of the, uh, the whiteboard, write it out. So we'll say, cellular respiration. Underneath it, write everything you can about it. Maybe the process of it, everything you can remember in the order that you remember it. Um, any little facts on the side about it. Um, just anything that comes to mind that you can think of, do that. Then take your notes and fill it all back in and look at everything that, you know, you missed. And then, you know, keep going through a few different topics, then come back to that one and now see how much you have. Uh, that's not necessarily that new of a topic, I'm sure a lot, uh, a technique, I'm sure a lot of you have heard of it before, but it's not a, a classic study tip for no reason. <laughs> it really works. And also another thing is with biology, a lot of things are, uh, you know, it's a process. So cellular respiration is a process. Transcription, translation, that's a process. And I don't know about you guys, I'm a very visual learner. I see things when I try to recall them. So by having a very clear and easy to look at uh, diagram of what's going on is key to me understanding things. And I would just redraw them over and over again. But again, this is where passive and active learning come back in because you can just memorize it but actually know what you're writing down. Just know, okay, this goes in this box. I remember it being there and this goes here, but why is it there? What's going on right here? What comes next and why does that come next? There's a difference between rote memorization and just copying something down and understanding it and knowing what comes next. And that's the difference between getting a B in a class and getting an A in a class. And I know it's hard. I've been there. I know it's hard to keep up with all these things, but it's these little, it's going not even an extra mile, just a little extra inch in every single uh, aspect of studying that together, it, it gets you that A. So uh, now I'll show you some of my notes and what I was talking about with having questions and going back in and adding things and all that good stuff. And I'll show you what I use to take my okay, notes. Okay, so I go into my drive. And here I have my little spring 2018 folder. And here are my lecture notes. Um, and I just try and organize them based on the lecture as, you know, as best as I can. So right here, I had a question and I highlighted it and this is a feature on Google Docs. You can just, you know, highlight something, press this, you add a comment and then there you go. And so I said, wait, so who has what? Do we have in between cells? I'm confused. I like to add a little personality in there.
but uh, this makes it really easy when I go to office hours. I just bring this up and it's really obvious where my comments are, which are my questions. So if I was listening to my lecture right now, I just have my phone going and I just read through it as he's talking about it. Maybe I have the slides up off to the side as well. And I just go through it like I was back in class.